Josiah asks, should they have released the title for Star Wars Episode 7 with the teaser trailer? That would have been epic. Um, nah, nah. I, I think these are two things that you can you can stagger out and like drop title, now drop teaser. I don't think anybody would have been more excited about the teaser had they announced the title with the teaser. I think they got our mouths watering now. They dropped the title, so we're like, <laughs> oh yeah, 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 I'm ready, give it yeah. to me. And um, and now we'll see we'll see what happens when they do drop the teaser. We still don't know. A lot of people claim to know when a teaser's coming. Nobody knows when a teaser's coming. We do know it's coming. I, I believe it'll be before the end of the year, fingers crossed. I'm gonna lose my mind when it does. Um, but I don't think announcing them together, I think they, they were better served. They're getting more bang for their buck by splitting up the, the title announcement and the, uh, the actual teaser. Do you know how crazy it is when this teaser drops? We are gonna have Mark Hamill and Hans, like uh, Harrison Ford and Carrie Fisher in a movie again. I mean, that's just kind of, for me, like as a little kid is when I first saw that trilogy and I remember walking to the cinema over the hot summer to see Empire Strikes Back. So my parent were like, parents were cool with let, letting me walk three miles to the showcase <laughs> cinemas in Connecticut. Was that before you were a foot taller and awkward because I wouldn't yes. no longer walk? It was actually before that. I was a tiny, but uh, that's that's what that's burned into my mind. And so to to even know that they made a star a Star Wars Seven for me, it's just like it's incredible. Like it's like that hollowed ground. Like yeah, there's only going to be six. I remember when as, as a kid I heard there was going to be like nine or twelve and now there's a Star, a star Wars 7, and we're gonna see a teaser for it. I don't even care what the images are. Just see Luke Skywalker again with some weird beard. I don't care if it's all head turns. Just like, that's it. Just with John <laughs> Williams music, turns. it's all head turns. <laughs> I might be crying at the end of it. Yeah, it's just if fantastic. If it's all head turns, it's gonna look like a Walmart family photo shoot. Just then <laughs> yeah. like, and I will love every second. But, of but it. here's the thing, though. I'll play devil's advocate real quick. I don't want to second guess Star Wars. However, the title of The Force Awakens, I think, is a really neat title. But if you did that, and the trailer is like what Christian Harloff and I both think it's going to be, and it's just it's a vision of Mark Hamill with the beard, and mm -hmm. then you just see him look up and a lightsaber comes on, when you hear that lightsaber ignite and the title of The Force Awakens, that would have blown people's minds if they're like, oh, it's awake again, as opposed to getting the title and then the trailer. Having said that, I'm happy with anything. Uh, look, I, we talk a lot about Star Wars. Star Wars is, is air and water and breath and life to me. <laughs> Agreed. And as much as we talk, and I talk about the tangibilization of things, I gotta tell you, I realized yesterday there's still a part of me where none of this feels real. And I think when that first trailer drops, you know, it's like you watch those YouTube videos with the kids who they probably know, oh, sometime this week, daddy's coming home from the war. Dad's coming, the, my military dad's coming home. But then you see the YouTube video, and the, even though they knew the dad's probably coming home, the wife knows that the, the, her husband's coming home. They just lose it. It's like, now it's real? That is going to be me. I'm going to be sitting in some theater, and that trailer's, and I am going to break down into tears. I'm going to cry. I'm going to sob. I'm going to hug strangers next to me. It's, I'm so excited about it. Anyway, I'm sorry. What's next? Let's get to another Twitter question. Captain Tight Pants asks, buy or sell an Enemy Mine remake? Oh, um, yeah, buy it. That's actually a really cool story. Well, I think it was Louis Gossett Jr. did the, the voice of the... Uh, oh, he, was, um, he played the character. Yeah, he yeah, played the character the, and did the, the voice. I, I think that's a fabulous... You know what? That's one of these movies, talking about indie films, you could make that on a, on a budget of Moon. Yeah. You could really make this thing like Moon a little bit with, with some spectacular opening sequences and, and end one shows how they get up, end up back there. Um, I'd be for it. Yeah, I, it's been a long time. That's gonna yeah. be like twenty-year-old movie or something. Yeah, like that and at I remember this point. it's ba actually it's based on a, a short comic book that was published by Marvel in the seventies. I had the comic, and I remember. Oh right, it's about this crash-landed like uh, you know human versus an you know an alien. I think it was called Arena, was yeah. what the comic book the short was. But uh, yeah, I remember seeing Enemy Mine as a kid, and not really you know it was a, it was a little too artsy. I think the the director Jacques. I think it was Jacques Schwartz, but correct me if I'm wrong. Is somebody is, the guy who did uh, Quest for Fire? I'm pretty sure it's the same director. Okay. It, had, it was a little weird uh, the way it was like you know the pacing of it. It was like a lot of long shots, not Tolkieny long shots with hobbits walking across mountains, <laughs> but these two people walking like 20 minutes. Like where, where's what's happening? You know. So I don't know. I mean, you're right. An, an enemy mine remake. 
Hell yeah. I think it's a great Mark? idea. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm not going to get as emotional as I will for the Star Wars <laughs> teaser when I see the Enemy Mine remake teaser. Right. But absolutely, I've never seen the original Enemy Mine, but I hear it's it's a, it was a really neat concept that didn't quite have the technology to the point where you could have made that movie right. So maybe we can do it this it was time. Dennis Quaid, I think. Yes, right. as it was. Yeah. It was Dennis Quaid. All right, last question of the day. Let's do this one quick. Okay, Roshan asks, do you think, guys, that Jim Carrey could be the next Joker? Can you pull it off? Could Jim Carrey, I mean, Jim Carrey's proven that he can act, like outside of comedy, he can act. Could he be a good Joker? Sure, but I, I gotta be honest with you guys, I, I'm not big on these questions about, hey, what do you think about this guy playing this character? What do you think about this? It's like, sure, anybody who's a decent actor in the hands of the right director could, could be that, so sure, why not, Jim Carrey? I think Jeff Daniels in Dumb and Dumber looks more like the Joker than <laughs> Jim Carrey does. But yeah, I think Jim Carrey can do anything. Any, any, any time you have to tap into some, some dark psychopathic Charactery thing. I think Jim Carrey is great at doing that, and I think that he would be a great Joker. He, it, the star power might be, might take away a little something from it, mm, maybe because yeah. he's Jim Carrey. But I think he'd be, a, I think he'd be phenomenal. I don't think he should ever play any other DC villain because he was already the Riddler. Yeah, you'd have to. Uh, maybe it's, it's an argument for a Devil's Advocate could be he's got to redeem himself from that. But no, <laughs> you're right. I don't think I could get over that. I yeah. mean, that was that was really a poor attempt. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions contests and prize giveaways.